Hi everyone, I'm Lucy. I'm 23 years old and I've been working with Lizzie for just under a year now. So I first decided to work with Lizzie off the back of a mentorship that I met her on. So at the time I was struggling a little bit with my strength training and also I had a lot of previous history surrounding issues with eating. After seeing Lizzie's podcast that she did with Saul, uh, where she opened up about some of her previous issues with eating behaviours, I knew straight away that she would be the right fit for me. I knew that I would be met instantly with some understanding surrounding eating and I wouldn't have to overly explain what was going on. I knew she would just get it from me off and she absolutely did. I wanted to push myself in a slightly different way. And that's when I sort of decided to look into calisthenics and gymnastics. So Lizzie is a fantastic ex-gymnast. And again, I knew that she would have that knowledge and understanding to support me with my goals and be able to push me in a way that was challenging. And I was able to see progression with my gymnastics movements. I would say I was, I had a good baseline of strength. I'd had quite a while out due to um, a health condition that I was having a little rest period from. So I definitely wasn't in the best shape. Um, I felt fairly unfit. I had my base level of strength, but I always felt quite embarrassed as a trainer that I was never, I never felt strong when I had my clients. I knew technically what they should do and I knew how to demonstrate exercise and program for them. But when it came to me, I didn't feel like I was the role model for strength and that didn't sit well with me. I think now is a completely different ball game. So I now walk into the gym feeling confident that I am strong, I know what I'm doing, I feel really confident with the movements that I try. I'm not afraid to try new things in a gym environment. So again, when I was first starting out, and Lizzie will remember this, I was afraid to take videos of what I was doing. Um, there were certain exercises where I would feel embarrassed doing them because they weren't the traditional exercises as such. But now I am so confident in the strength that I have. I know that I can try these new things. And in terms of my physique, I feel really confident in how my body looks. I am bigger than I was before I have put on tissue and I feel so much better for that. I had a period of time where I felt quite small um, and I definitely lost a fair bit of weight. And actually, I don't. looking back on those pictures, I don't think I look healthy. I think I look underweight and I look small. Um, it's been mentally tough putting on that tissue and being okay with having a bit more size and, you know, being okay with perhaps clothing feeling a little bit tighter, especially on my upper body. But I actually see that as a sign that I've put in that hard work, I've put in that hard graft to, to build that tissue and to be able to do the movements that I can do now. My relationship with food is really, really strong at the moment. Definitely still have ups and downs, um, have some bad days, but the good days are definitely in a much higher quantity than the bad days. In terms of like my cardiovascular fitness, um, you know, I've started running and I've managed to pick up some PBs along the way. I'm really, really happy with that. I find that my energy levels generally tend to be better. Another big thing has also been my sleep. So I've always, always struggled with sleep for literally as long as I can remember. And me and Lizzie were able to explore some options together and have drastically improved that. So my biggest achievement are my pull-ups. So when me and Lizzie first started working together, I visited her in person and we tested, okay, what's the pull-up situation? Could barely do a scat pull. It, it was not looking good. But fast forward to now and I can comfortably do six, seven pull-ups in a set. Um, and we're gonna keep pushing up with those. So that is definitely my, uh, my favorite achievement. So one of the big things that we're currently working towards is a muscle up movement. So off the back of my pull ups, I was very much, OK, what's the next challenge? What can we do next? And muscle up seemed like the clear next step for me. Lizzie has been able to break this movement down into some smaller skill based movements that I'm currently working on at the moment just to help prep me for that muscle up. So the muscle up will be my big goal for this year. Some of the biggest challenges that I've faced along my journey so far 
I think the food has been really the biggest thing for me. Growing up with disordered eating obviously leaves its mark and I'm sort of a firm believer that that part of you always sits with you along the way. It's it's probably never ever going to disappear from my brain. But what does change is my attitudes and my behaviours towards that. I've obviously had times um, over this past year where I've really struggled with that. But again, working with Lizzie, I was able to talk through all of those feelings with her and we were able to build a plan to work back out of that in a way that didn't feel really overwhelming to me. I know that a lot of other coaches perhaps wouldn't understand the mindset behind it. And it would be really easy to just turn around and go, oh, you just need to eat. But actually it's so much deeper than that. And having that space to talk through the behaviors and everything that was going on was so, so beneficial for me. And actually, although it was a hard time to go through, mentally now I'm so much stronger for working through that and really diving into those feelings. The issues that Lizzie has given me to help me overcome my challenges. Um, the biggest one is, is giving me that space to be able to talk and work, th work through things. So not necessarily telling me what to do because I don't believe that's super helpful, but helping me to find the solutions, uh, making suggestions on things that might help and sometimes just a reminder of, you know, remember, let's pull it back to the basics. Here are the things that are going to help you. The best thing about being a part of the 1% Club is definitely the community. So everyone in the 1% Club is so, so amazing to each other. We're definitely one of those groups where we hype everyone up for their achievements. We all have completely different goals. Some people are looking for fat loss. Some people are looking to get stronger. Um, some people are doing it for different fitness reasons. But the main thing is everyone is celebrating everyone's achievements, even if it's completely different to the goal that you're working on. Um, you know, it might even contradict the goal that you're working on. For example, I'm obviously looking to build tissue and get stronger, whereas someone else might be actually looking to cut down on what they're doing. And actually, we're still able to recognise that that's a really big personal achievement for them and celebrate it and congratulate them on what they're doing.